everyone. Okay, so today I'm gonna do kind of a first impression slash through the day review of my new Hourglass Opaque Rouge Liquid Lipstick. Let me show you the box really quick so you can get the full idea of what's going on in this product. And here is the actual liquid lipstick. The packaging is really nice, but this is what a lot of their lip gloss kind of products look like. It's supposed to be a 14 hour wear matte finish. I love Hourglass. I think you probably know. I just kind of gravitate to the brand. It's really, really pricey, which is super irregular for me, but I don't know. I just love it. I've had really good results with the stuff I've tried, and this is pretty new, relatively new, and so I wanted to try it. I got the color Edition. A lot of times long wearing lipsticks can get really gross over time. This one is claiming 14 hours, which is kind of crazy and really unbelievable, and that's what I'm trying to see. So I'm here with you on a surprisingly kind of free day. I don't go to class until a little bit later. Um, I'm just about to leave, and it's 9.45 right now, and so I'm gonna put it on, and then I'm gonna keep checking back in with you throughout the day, and we're gonna see how this wears and how much I like it. I'm not totally sure about the color. I ordered it online, and so I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Another thing about Hourglass is it's like everything free, if you know what I mean. It's like paraben free, fragrance free, sulfate free, fluffolite free, <laughs> synthetic dye free. I mean, it's like, really skin friendly in my mind. That's what it says to me. The directions say lips must be bare to ensure optimal coverage, apply and allow to set for one minute. Okay, I have nothing on my lips. I'm ready to go. I actually have this to make them super, super dry. I don't know if you could hear me. Super, super dry. Um, I feel like I'm really washed out, so I hope it shows the color, but you'll be seeing me in different locations all day. Okay, I'm seeing really good coverage. I'm being like so careful because I feel like I'm gonna be stuck with it for a really long time. When I put my lips together, I felt it's kind of sticky, which is weird. Okay, so I'm gonna wait a minute. And they're kind of sticky, so yeah. All right, so it feels like it's almost dry. In case you're wondering, the applicator is kind of one of these little doe foot kind of flat guys. Really easy to use, pretty easy to control. I've noticed there's almost a little bit of gold sparkle. It's not like glitter, it's just kind of a sheen. I didn't really notice that before, um, but I did notice on the swatch online, but then whenever you look at the product, it's like, what well, I don't know. I guess I was just not observing it very closely. But yeah, I can definitely see it on the lips, but it's not too much. I'm gonna show you a close up and so you can get a really good idea of what it looks like on. Um, a lot of the swatches I saw online before I bought it were of the red colors. And I mean, I don't know, I guess that's like the most statement lip. And like this pink isn't really fall, but I don't know. Okay, so let's look. Okay, so yeah, it is a matte finish, which I already knew. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna put like a balm over it or something like a gloss. I'm not even sure. I have another hourglass gloss that I could put over it that I think that would be really, really pretty. And I really love that gloss, but I don't know if that would like compromise the experiment. I don't even know. But um, yeah, I gotta go. So I'll check back in a little later and I'll keep track of time and we'll see how it goes. Hey, okay, I'm back. I'm done with class. I'm in the parking lot. I'm just about to go to work. It's only a tiny bit after one, so that's officially, I'm chewing gum. I'm so sorry, let me get rid of it. Okay, I'm back. So it's officially been a little over three hours and the lips are still okay. I actually didn't feel the need to put on a balm or gloss or whatever. It's really matte. I'm really used to gloss and balm and you know I love my balm stains. So I'm not used to just matte, but surprisingly I'm not losing my mind and I haven't added anything, but I'm not promising that I won't maybe even soon. When I get to work, I'm gonna have lunch and that might compromise my situation. I did already have a snack. It was just one of those little Kashi snack bar kind of things. Um, so that wasn't really like greasy or oily or whatever. And I think that's really what makes a difference. If you eat really greasy food or something with like a whole bunch of oil or something like that, that could really take it off because 
if you think about it. Oftentimes, the most strong makeup remover is an oil-based type product. So, we'll see what happens. I think I'm probably having like spaghetti or something like that. I'm not really sure what the effect will be, but I will definitely update you. Um, they look good for now. In the sunlight, I'm definitely seeing more of the gold sparkle. They still look good to me, although I kind of really want a gloss. I'm going to give you kind of an up-close look. My skin is not doing awesome today, and it was supposed to rain, so I didn't really pack on the coverage. So my skin doesn't look awesome, so I hope you can overlook that. But yeah, other than that, I feel like they're okay. After three hours, we're good. But I did do some super crazy math while I was in class and figured out that if the 14-hour promise turns out to be true, I'll still have these lips at midnight tonight. So I don't know. We'll see. It seems crazy. All right, let's look. Okay, so it's officially just after 6 p.m. I'm driving with my sister. We're going out to dinner right now. I just came to pick her up and I came straight from work. Um, the lips are doing okay. They're getting to that point of like the crusty, crusty kind of long wear lipstick thing that you expect. But it's been a really, really long time. It's been like eight hours. I actually read reviews that said that the color would get into people's teeth, which is freaky. Not happening to me, but it's probably because it's a light color. I don't know. Um, I feel nasty. You know that feeling where it's like coated, like you have a second layer of skin that's not your own. It's not a great feeling, but yeah, that's pretty much what comes with long wearing lip colors and this one is no exception so I don't know I think I'm gonna check back in later after dinner I don't know but I wanted to let you know what was going on because it's been five hours okay bye hey everyone I have good news and I have bad news the bad news first okay not my hair but the other bad news first is I kind of flaked out on my review yesterday. I know, I'm sorry, that was so not how that was supposed to go. But basically, after dinner, I had to go and edit and upload a video and it got really late and then the whole thing kind of just, I don't know, I was really tired and I just kind of called it quits. But the good news is I can still follow up and I can still tell you exactly what happened. You just won't see all the dirty details, which is actually kind of okay with me. Basically, the overall review is no, it does not last 14 hours. Midnight, I was like totally gone. Um, to be completely honest with you, my review might be a little off because you know how in my last clip I said I was going out to dinner with my sister. We ended up going to this place that pretty much only serves sliders and sliders are like tiny burgers and they also have like tiny chicken sandwiches and tiny other little things and lots of french fries and that's what I ate. And so that's like greasy meal America. So yeah, that's probably what really broke down the lip color. But after that, I was really just like, oh, I really did not have much left. And it was super like it was almost all gone. And you know what it looks like whenever a long wearing lip color breaks down. It's definitely one of those. It's not like a stain. It's like a long wearing liquid lipstick. If you've never worn one before, you don't really know the sensation and you don't know exactly how it looks, but it kind of puts a a coat. It's kind of like you're painting your lips and you have a coat of paint on your lips and it stays there for a long time but it does break down eventually. I don't know if you can really hate on this product because it does last for a really really impressively long time. It's not 14 hours. It is always kind of annoying that makeup products are always putting these really really ridiculously huge numbers of like 48 hour mascara. No. No. It's annoying, but honestly, at this point, we should really not ever believe those things. Um, of course, I love Hourglass and I didn't want to think that, but at the same time, 14 hours sounded ridiculous even from the beginning. But I can honestly say eight hours, like the eight hour workday, you'd pretty much be solid if you 
painted it on right before you went into work and you left and you did like a normal eight hour work day or whatever and you didn't eat sliders or a thousand french fries, you'd probably be good. And I, I think another thing that really helped with this is I got a color that is relatively light and a little bit more, not natural, but whenever it started to break down, it was a little less noticeable. If I had like one of the darker colors or one of the major red colors, the breakdown probably would have been a whole lot more noticeable, but with a lighter color, it wasn't. On another note, I don't really love the color I chose. So I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do. I don't wanna take it back, but at the same time, I don't know. As you can see, I'm not wearing it today. I'm back to my Revlon Balm Stain and Honey, one of my all-time favorites, but it's just a little bit more comfortable to me. If you're really, really into long wearing lip colors, this one is worth a try, especially if you know what you're getting into and you get what I mean by, you know, the whole second skin type feeling, which sounds disgusting. I'm sorry. I don't really have a rating system, but I don't know. I told you my experience. I'm not 100% like, oh, you have to go get this, but it is an interesting product, but at the same time, it doesn't live up to its lofty claims. So there's that. Now you know. Now we both know. Did you like this kind of video? Is this something you want to see more of in the future? Like the whole like, let me review this, like first impression style. Obviously I kind of failed at it. It was actually kind of funny that I can remember myself saying yesterday morning that it was kind of more of a free day. Um, yeah, I had to go to school work. Then I went out to dinner with my sister, which obviously is voluntary, but then I edited and uploaded a video. So I don't know really where I got that, but I think I can do another kind of first impression sort of review in the future if that's something you guys are interested in. If you are interested in something like that, keep me posted. Like post on my Facebook wall or tweet me or something like that and let me know if there's like something coming out and you want to get a review while you're at it. If you have any comments or questions or whatever, you can comment down below. Like I said, you can hit me up on Facebook or Twitter. On Facebook, it's facebook.com slash Leanne Says and at Leanne Says on Twitter. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye everyone! Go me! Before I put this on, I want to say really quickly no, I'm not going to. I'm sorry. I'm like going in circles right now. Uh, sorry, 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 sorry. Of my new something. <laughs> Oops, gotta go. And I actually bought these tonight, so I don't really have anything to say about them, but I just bought them tonight and I wanted to share. Um,